Aloha, I'm Sherry Duong with the Maui Visitors Bureau. It is with pleasure that I have this wonderful opportunity to share with you the magic of Maui. Maui was once a large island called Big Maui. Volcanic eruptions broke up the island into Lanai, Molokai, Koholawe, and Maui as we know it today. Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, each visible to the other across a channel, make up the cozy triad of islands called Maui County, the modern Maui Nui. When we think of Maui, we like to say that it's an island that is captivating. It's an island that is full of romance. It's spontaneous and playful, holds lots of charms, and offers an abundance of local cuisine. Maui is the second largest of the Hawaiian Islands with a land area of 729 miles. It is 48 miles long and 26 miles across at its widest point. The major resort areas are Kapalua and Napili, Kaanapali, Kihei, Wailea, McKenna, and Hana. The main airport is in Kahului at the center of Maui. The number one attraction here in Maui is the Haleakala Crater. Haleakala is a dormant volcano, the largest in the world. It is also known as the House of the Sun. It rises up 10,023 feet. Sunrise at Haleakala is a must, but remember to always bundle up no matter what time of the year you go. Once the sun rises, you will see such amazing wildlife and plants of Haleakala, such as the Silver Sword. The road to Hana is another must-do when you're in Maui. Hana is considered the last unspoiled Hawaiian frontier, a soulful respite from the stresses of modern life. The 52 serpentine miles from Kahului holds one, 54 one-lane bridges and winds around 600 curves before you reach its lush rural outpost. Along the way, we encourage you to stop and enjoy the waterfalls and hike through the bamboo forest. And there are several lava tubes for exploring or take a dip in one of the accessible beaches. The sands may be white, gold, black, or salt and pepper. Maui welcomes the humpback whales, our largest seasonal visitors. We consider them Maui's other honeymooners, arriving to mate and give birth and provide joy and entertainment for their viewers. Maui's south and west coast coastlines provide an abundant opportunities for watching this endangered species, and various tours offer whale watching excursions aboard both power and sailboats. And whale watching season is December through mid-May. And for those who choose not to go out on a boat but still like to enjoy the marine life, visit our aquarium, the Maui Ocean Center, right at Maialaia Harbor. The Hawaiian Aquarium lets the whole family experience the scuba diver's world from the comfort of shore and learn about it as well. Visitors travel through the middle of a 600,000 gallon open tank in an acrylic tunnel with a wraparound view. It's a winner for all ages. And for those with an adventurous spirit, Maui provides zip lining experiences throughout the islands. Convenient locations in Kapalua, Kanapali, Central Maui, and Upcountry Maui. A very popular event with our visitors is enjoying one of our town parties we call Maui Fridays. One of Maui's historic towns is showcased every Friday when the community gathers to celebrate art, music, food, fun, and local culture. It's a free admissions event. The first Friday of every month is in Wailuku. The second Friday of the month is Lahaina. Third Friday of the month is Makawao. And the fourth Friday of month is held in Kihei. Before your clients travel to Maui, have them check out the website MauiFridays.com to see where they can join in on the fun. Maui hosts many Hawaiian signature events as well as food festivals. Our food festivals you will find showcase our local chefs and their farm-to-table concepts. Your clients can check out these dates when these events will take place prior to travel on our GoHawaii.com website. From Maui across the channel, the island of Lanai appears as a rounded hump, like a whale cradled in a calm and gentle sea. From Lanai, the West Maui Mountains are powerful and purple, an extension of itself nine miles of ocean away. In prehistoric times, Lanai was once of several islands joined to Maui. Now it's a small, gracefully sparsely populated destination with its own strong identity, Hawaii's most enticing island. And there are several ways to get to Lanai. A popular method of travel is via the Expedition Ferry. The five round trip daily, 45 minute ride is a nice alternative to flying 
especially during whale season where the chances of seeing the humpback whales are excellent. Another method of travel to Lanai is by air. Island Air, Ohana Air, and Mokalele Airlines collectively offer several daily flights to Lanai from both Maui and Oahu. And these flights are very short and you can get a spectacular view from the air prior to landing. When we think of Lanai, we think of serenity, solitude, a pampered feeling. It's a place that you can come to relax, but yet not get too bored. Be as active and not overdo it. It's a place where you can find peacefulness. Lanai's natural and cultural attractions are spread over the 141 square miles. In addition to the most popular attractions of Lanai Culture and Heritage Center, Garden of the Gods, Shipwreck Beach, there are also the annual festivals and events. Again, these events can be found on the GoHawaii.com website. We encourage our visitors to check it out before travel to Lanai. Molokai, the island that is most Hawaiian by nature. And there's a reason for that, and it all starts with no. No resorts, no spas, no valet parking, no commercial luau, no movie theaters, no white linen gourmet restaurants. It all sounds pretty negative until you start thinking about what else is not there. No traffic signals, no city lights, no noise, no crowds, no tension, no hype, and no chance that you'll ever get lost. There are two principal ways to get to the islands of Molokai. Most visitors fly into Molokai Airport, located at central part of the island. Two airlines handle most of the traffic, Mokalele and Ohana. The alternative to flying is riding the Molokai Ferry over from Lahaina Harbor in West Maui. The two-hour voyage crosses the channel daily and docks at Kanakakai Harbor. As mentioned earlier, Molokai is the island's most Hawaiian in nature. It is rich in culture and history, has an open road with no traffic congestion or pollution, where a visitor can walk down the town and talk story with a local. This is really true Hawaii. As with our other two sister islands of Maui and Lanai, we encourage our visitors to check out the events calendar at GoHawaii.com for upcoming festivals and events prior to traveling to Molokai. And for more information on our three islands of Maui Nui, Maui, Lanai, and Molokai, please go to visitmaui.com. Tropical waters, whales leaping from the sea, brilliant sunshine, white sand beaches, emerald green rainforests, quiet streams, crystal clear pools, and plunging waterfalls, quaint upcountry towns, and the warmth of people as spontaneous and welcoming as rainbows. The island of Maui. A destination as captivating as it is surprising. Extend your time in our tropical paradise. Visit Maui's sister islands of Molokai and Lanai. Details at visitmaui.com.